what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to short lips tv i am alamide salah better begin with better voice You know, in the bid to overthrow the current ruling party or progressive congress, the Lagos State chapter of the People's Democratic Party has upped its game in a bid to win in the forthcoming election. We're quite aware that they made a decision to pick award-winning Nollywood actress Funke Akitele, also known as Jennifer, as the running mate of the party's gubernatorial candidates, Olajide Adeniro, popularly known as Jen Dom. Since unveiling Funke Akidele as the running mate, Nigerians have been reacting to the news. And you trust us at Short Lips, we are yet to catch that reaction. We're going to be asking Nigerians questions regarding that. We're going to be asking them, do you think Funke Akidele is politically capable to undo the position of a deputy governor of Lagos State? What do you think the People Democratic Party hopes to achieve? using a celebrity as a political candidate and the last question do you think celebrities should involve themselves in politics these are the questions we'll be asking nigerians and we'll be listening to their replies on the questions of today this should be fun right let's do this do you think funke akidele is politically capable to hold the position as a deputy governor of Lagos state yes okay why do you like, say like so? like let us go into Liberia. george Ray was a footballer and most of the people in the country because of him part of the society Okay. They vote for George Way. So if we have people that is creative, we are very creative. They will need to, to, to rule the country. We don't need people that don't have creativity in their sense. Mm. Because most of the people we have today, they are not creative. Most of them. But today we will find them become a governor, governor and senator. So if somebody mm. has that potential to rule, if she's a female, she can do it. Mm. Just for she to motivate others women. Okay. Because there are women as in the kitchen who just feel relaxed. But if a woman can change, mm. if she can bring the creativity to the world, like most of our heart and sometimes okay. entertaining people makes some people feel comfortable she can bring this thing to the society and change life than than for us to wait for all these people that deceiving us deceiving us but we need somebody that can pull these things into the society and change the society through our creative impact not about coming out to loot the money or using the money for themselves to be realistic uh i don't think i don't see her capable okay. uh in the political terrain because there are places there are places for entertainment and there are places for politics okay. uh, well um she's socially inclined but at times you may not be able to relate sh your social behavior with your political behavior because politics comes with intellect yeah well from kea kendele has the name uh she has the prestige anyway but she may not be able to manage the political space and uh following uh the recent uh, uh home breaking she has okay. i think it will still have enough to tell in the society because a better society starts from the home mm -hmm. and if you can't manage your home well okay. how would you manage the society to me politics is not all about uh, being a celebrity or not okay. number one we think about the the motive okay. what is motivating you to uh, to go into politics in the first place okay. um if your motive is corrupt Already you have spoiled the whole thing. Mm. You understand? Okay. So being a celebrity or not doesn't guarantee you um, a, a ticket. Okay. Or it doesn't disqualify you from being a politician. I can't really ascertain that okay. in the sense that I know Funke Akidele to be an actress okay. and a musician. I think she's singing if I'm right. Okay. But to understand if she's contending for that post, I don't think she's the right person to choose. Okay. And more so, Funke Akindele is a lawyer by profession. Okay. And with the way things are going, if indeed, what matters most is her motive behind okay. the post. If she's not doing it because of fame, I think that should be okay. But if she's going there because of 
other motive. Probably maybe because of fame and money, I'll be disappointed in her. And I don't see the reason why, except as I said earlier, motive matters. If indeed she really wants to change Nigeria with her uh, integrity, so to say, I will appreciate that. Everybody is capable, but depend on your own intention. I believe if the people choose you, they believe on you, on what you can do, and your capability based on the role you are playing. Uh, for my own, I believe she is capable. No. Why do you say so, ma? Yeah, because before you become something, I think you have to be in the system for a while, you know, to be able to study about the insights okay. in the politics, you understand? Okay. You can't just uh, wake up One from morning, okay. and decide to be a vice president of a state. Okay. You obviously have to be there in the system for, uh, you know, a couple of years, or gain some experiences you get before you can become a, uh, a politician. I think she is um, capable, yes, I really think she is capable because she being a celebrity, I think she will also bring much more things into politics. Okay. All right, so that's what I have to say. Of course she is. Why would you say that? There's nothing wrong with uh, her being a deputy governor. Okay. Right? Um, let me say, this is what we've been wanting, actually. Okay. Youth, you know, sending them in there and representing us properly. You know, so I think it's a good development. Yes, of course, because he's a celebrity and he's a good man. Not be juju be that. And at least he's somebody that everybody knows and will believe that if 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 he become a deputy governor that everything will get better. Okay. I just believe so. Yes, with our support. Okay, with our support. Yes. Okay. As a as an individual or as a citizen, as a human being, everybody you know is capable of you know of as assuming any position okay. in the government? I don't know. I don't think there's anyone capable at all. I don't think there's any professional at all. So um, if she thinks she can do it, why not? But if she ends up getting there and doesn't do anything, then I think it's a shame. Yes, I think so. Okay, Be why do you say so? Okay. Because these days now, we need new generation. We need new people in the government. Okay. So now she can go there. Maybe she can deliver Lagos State. Okay. So I, I give her my support. First of all, she's not a Lagosian. Okay. So why would she vote, like be contesting for um, position in a Lagos. position in Lagos? Okay. To me, I don't think she is. I don't know her personally beyond Jennifer's diary. That's what we all know her. So I just know her as a comedian. However, she comes off as a go-getter. So I feel if, if she's put in a leadership position, she might surprise all of us. So I, feel she, I don't feel she's just restricted to that comedy. Well, I, I can't really say, but um, the truth of the matter is anyone that is holding an office or a public office should be someone that has the heart of the people. So regardless of her political experience or not, and all that, if she has good intention, then I give it to her. But if it's for other reasons and all that, I know women be we are naturally selfish anyway. But notwithstanding, if if with with if with all that you are able to do the right thing, okay. touch the lives of people, you know, you can look at the past accidents, okay. then being able to work on it and do better, why not? So that is what I think is very important. So if she has that in mind, then it's okay. Because we actually need people that can have the heart of the poor at heart and can deliver. So if you have experience of politics and you can't deliver, so what's the sense? What's the point? What do you think PDP hopes to achieve in using a celebrity as a political candidate? Because you need somebody that is very creative. Because here in the world now, we are, most of the world needs creativity. It's not about the self-interest. Because if you check most of the things we use today, the cows and everything, you see this thing and made by creativity. People who have creative impact. But if you have somebody that don't have that creative spirit in him, he cannot put this creativity into the society because they feel comfortable with themselves. Like it's phone, the things they see are empowered by the government because of why they have that creative mindset in them. So if the government can put this creativity aspect into the youth and bring this creativity into the society, it can change the society. Because most of the country they don't have most of these resources, but they work with what the intellectual, the potential in them. But if actually we are taking off resources and this, we we'll continue to suffer for this country because now the world has changed into the natural resources, but what the inside. So if she can bring this creativity aspect into the politics, I think he can change the country. I'm not really a political person, but uh, 
when PDP is bringing Funke Akinlele, I think uh, it's a kind of political game, okay. like to be able to to uh, involve masses mm. to voting. Because when when the, the few Funke Akinlele has the name, she has this kind of Mandate. yeah mandate calibers. So and if people see Funke Akinlele, if you ah in your one on is our people. Permit me to use that, my dialect. So, see if we can do that. You know, she's our people, she's our people, right? And so much. But uh, to be to be candid, uh, you may not be able to relate well uh, inter entertainment with politics. They are not at par. Maybe the, it could be as a result of looking for or attracting um, um, uh, people to them. You understand? As... A, a celebrity already you are a popular person, okay. person. Okay. and when people notice that you are a popular person you know they like coming to you you understand okay. so they may use him or they may use that avenue to win the mind of people mm, okay. they are just trying to use that as a scam because they believe that Funke Akidele has fans okay. and so to say as a public figure they see them as a people of integrity that's the reason why I'm saying it depends on Funke Akidele motive on that. So I think they deliberately want to use that because they believe that musicians and uh, maybe actors, they see them as an activist fighting for the people. So they deliberately went to go for Funke Akidele that it, she can gather crowd. I think that's their motive. It's not left to Funke Akidele. He's going to use her conscience to, to operate the office. Because since Funke is a celebrity and she has followers so they're actually trying to use her to get what they want so that's what i think i would say they maybe they need more voters i don't believe in party what i believe in is humanity what you can do you know, so I, I don't know how to answer that question about party pdp or apc and all of that because she's a star okay and we all love her okay so, that's, that's yes she's a celebrity she has fans okay so definitely, if she wants to come up with them, and uh, they think they'll get more people to vote. Uh, uh, so that's what I think they're trying to do. Well, you know, over the time they've been, they've not been able to win and come back like that. Okay. So this time around, I know it's just strategy. Everybody is trying to look at possibility of winning this time around, okay. putting every asana in place using all their gadgets, everything within their, you know, disposal oh, to make sure that they yeah. actually do their own primary assignments in order to win. Because the truth of the matter is, even if you have the intention to win, if you're not putting the, um, the needed things in place, you're not going to win, even if you have good intention. But you don't know how to play the game very well, you're not going to win. So it's just like you have a skill, you can do things very well you can make it very well but uh, you don't go out you don't strategize you don't know how to meet with people that can pay you for your service you will not really make it do you think celebrities should involve themselves in politics yes okay why do you say so sir? according to their potential according to their kindness okay. the things you see in them it's not about all but what we see in them that can motivate us to vote for them okay. so we are not just voting because they are celebrities we are voting because of their impact to the society at all at all as I said earlier, there is a place for politics and there is a place for entertainment. Yes. If, like, if you intentionally want to become a politician as a celebrity and you have a good motive, it's fine. But if somebody um, either endorses you or maybe call you to come and be a politician because you are a celebrity in order to win the mind of people, already the motive is corrupt. You understand? Exactly. Yes. So I don't really buy the idea of um, endorsing a celebrity to become a leader because he, he doesn't even have the experience in the first place. And with the way politics is in this part of this world, I don't think celebrity should. But if they are going there for a positive motive, okay. I will appreciate it because we need a change. Yes, but if you have good intention, but if you know you are not good in politics just stick clear. anybody can involve themselves into politics but you also have to be there study about the politics before you can mm. be able to say you want to run a state or you want to become something yeah anybody can become a politics you just have to you know um, like i said you just have to study or know what is it know the insight about being a politician not just waking up sunday and say i want to become a politician i want to be a politician no
yes, I think they, really they should involve yourself in politics. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. The, for the fact that they are celebrities, does not mean they don't say uh, they cannot involve themselves in politics. You know? So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yes, now we are all Nigerians, mm -hmm. so everybody can involve E or A in politics. Nigeria is not a TV show or a movie, okay. so I don't know. I don't know what they are going there to do, but I just hope if they are going, they should do something good for us. That's all. Yes, I think so. Why do you say so, sir? Because celebrity, as a celebrity, I think celebrity makes people happy. Okay. When you go out these days now, you meet different people and they are celebrity. Once you go with celebrity, I think celebrity has a good mind of making everybody happy. So you're saying that if they enter office, they'll make us happy? That is what I think. Mm, yes, they should. They should. Okay. Yes, they should because we can't hold them back, even though they are celebrities. No, even that celebrity, they can we can use it to since we've known them already. Okay. So we can use it to judge them if they can actually deliver, deliver okay. that message okay. to us. I don't think it has to do with um, that you are a celebrity or not. Okay. So it has to do with okay, we know you. Over a period of time, we we'll see your attitude. We know how you have been contributing to the um, to the entertainment industry, and we know your personal life because the personality of that person before the office is even more important as well. So, what you are able to achieve personally as a person, okay, is very important. The truth of matter is, as far as Kufuke is concerned, we've not really had a lot of scandal. Even if you had, sometimes it's not it's not up to like some other persons okay. because that will have been flying back to back on the social media, okay. you know. So so uh, many people will like our movie. She tried to stand out. She tried to bring innovation. Okay. Uh, you know, she's trying to bring bring new things. And you know, most of the things she does is to teach to pass moral how you can fight for your rights sometimes you know you say even though i don't know how to speak but you know it's not okay, good like this and all that okay. yeah so i think that's kind of a person and you know if you look at her attitude she has been able to um or let me say her lifestyle though she's not that um she's not prone to like mixing up with people even some of our former some of our Police. colleagues Police. and yes yeah, in the industry but notwithstanding it doesn't have to be if you're a celebrity or not I think that's the bottom line of the question. It has to do with if you can do it. Looking at your antecedents, what you have done in the past, and your lifestyle and everything. There you have it. You think from the mouth of Nigerians. And while many believe that, you know, Funke Akidele is a creative person and an innovative person, and they believe that that innovation can be translated to Nigerian politics to take not just Lagos State, but Nigeria to the next level. Many of the opinion that, you know, celebrities have no business, you know, being in, in politics because they don't have political history. Well, I tell you, those that have political history in Nigeria and are in politics at the moment, what exactly are they doing? Are they bettering the life of the people? I tell you that only the person that has Nigeria's best interest at heart can actually lead Nigeria to the next level. So we are putting it to you. Should celebrities involve themselves in politics, they should they be allowed to hold political offices? Also, do you think Fuki Akedele is politically capable, you know, to hold the position of a deputy governor in Lagos State? Drop your answer for us in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. Thank you for watching all our videos. To get more interesting content like this, don't forget to subscribe and also follow us on our various socials at Facebook and Instagram at Shortlives TV. Also, we have an anonymous website where you can go to share your real life experiences and connect with people who have been in similar situations like yourself. Just go to www.shortlives.com. Sign up to the platform is completely easy and 100% free. This is Short Lips TV. I'm Alamide Salah, better picking with better voice. Till we come your way next time, do stay safe.